it's time for Ink the Book Show with your host, Ryan O'Connor. And now, let's Ink the Book. No one can contain it. Welcome to the show. No one will explain it. Welcome to the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Ryan O'Connor, as per usual. Uh, I, and I Ink the Book Show. Uh, here we are. Ink in my sketchbook. Doing something. No one can contain it. Welcome to the show. So where have I been? Part of the problem is I'm so busy coloring my graphic novel, my first graphic novel, Bonehead, um, that I'm so tired <laughs> to do anything else. <laughs> Another part of the reason I haven't been streaming is uh I can't send myself emails that makes putting this show together a little oh yeah thank you who <laughs> do I know you <laughs> thank you for the uh compliment I think but uh um yeah so I started doodling this this rat I finally fixed my email though I was like I was starting to say I was having trouble with my email and that I use my email and I'm putting together the thumbnails for the show and I was kind of panicking that my email wasn't working a little more than I was concerned about putting on a show uh So, uh, but I figured that out. I just figured that out. Because it seemed like no matter what I was doing, it wasn't getting fixed, but now it's good. Uh... <laughs> Why, thank you. Well, you came to the right place, Chrono Triggers. You know what's funny? I've just been reading um, this book by uh, Kurt Vonnegut over here. Let's see. The Sirens of Titan. And uh, there's a guy in here named uh, something. <laughs> His name is something... Con Constant, Malachi Constant, and uh, let's see. It's predicted in this first chapter that he has that he has a son named Chrono. I've never read this before, but I just read that today, and then here you come. Isn't that weird? Yeah, I read. My, my brain is the wrinkliest, foggiest brain you ever saw. It ain't right. So I'm drawing this, like, mouse thug. I don't know. Eye on my face. I hit my face on my dang camera. That is to say, I hit the frame of my glasses on my camera. So this guy's got this short jacket. I don't know if I like that, though. I will make it longer. Okay, so here's this guy.
got big shoes. Which means big bank account for buying big shoes. Right? Right. Uh, <laughs> Chrono Triggers. Uh, so tell me, what's your diet like to be so handsome? Well, I drink about a billion cups of tea a day. Black. No milk, no sugar. Just water and tea leaves. It won't put hair on your head, but it'll... Probably take it away, in my experience. <laughs> That's how come the handsomeness. I'm like a model version of Johnny Bravo. Yeah, that's it. Let's see, these hands are kind of not my fave. How's Mama Bravo Johnny? Uh, she's good. <laughs> she's, I don't know. She's doing her mama thing. Did you ever see the, the episode of Johnny Bravo where um, it's like uh, he gets Burt Bacharach to play for her or something like that? And I think it was Burt Bacharach. Maybe I'm confusing that with Austin Powers. But he gets a piano player to play, to write a song for her. And uh, the song is... Oh, bunny, you're so funny. You're like a hanky when my nose is runny. Oh, bunny. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe. I never, I guess I never got that impression from him. But, um, cartoons. I think they're all a little. Swishy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I'm going to ink. Well, hold on. Let's get some background in here. Some kind of background, even if it's... Even this guy, look at him. You know he's into whatever will cross his path. Just kidding. I don't know. Uh, well, why else did he? <laughs> that yeah, that's a good question. He's a uh, he's a self saboteur. Okay, so let's see. I got my brush. I've got ink already poured into a little um, beer bottle cap. What's my, <laughs> what's my favorite Barbera cartoon? Um, who do I like? Off the top of my head, I want to say the Flintstones. But you know, you never see them on C Cartoon Network anymore or anything like that. So it's, I feel like I haven't seen any in a long time. Um... Trying to think. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Do I want to be the Barney to your Fred sometime? Sure. I'm lonely. I need some company. I like you too. I think <laughs> does your does your thumbnail say screw? Oh yeah, it does. It says screw you with an exclamation point. Oh, you know what? You know what else was Hanna Barbera? Well, things like Johnny Bravo and uh, Billy and Mandy. Billy and Mandy, I really liked. Let's think. What else? Cow and Chicken. I have uh, behind me. I have uh, on the, on my on my wall behind me. I've got somewhere this. That's a cell of Cow and Chicken that I bought. Let me see. Maybe I'll pull it off the wall and show it off. Indeed it does. Call me a handyman and I'll fix your door. Well, I might have to hang it back up later, but look. I think I got this from the Cricket Gallery. But there's like uh, some... Uh, Places where you can just buy animation cells online. And this one was pretty reasonably priced. So the cell that was actually used in the production is just chicken here. And uh, so this is just like a laser printed background that they that they sent with it. But yeah, cow and chicken. Cow and chicken was really good. Um, the three main characters... We're all voiced by this great voice actor named Charlie Abbott. Oh, I'm not even going to mess with that right now. Break it. <laughs> so, the three main characters were voiced by this great uh, voice actor named Charlie Adler. And uh, he played Cow, he played Chicken, and he played um, the Red Guy. And I don't think there's any voice actor like him. Um, I mean, I, I'm a huge Billy West fan, too. But, uh, man, Charlie Adler. He also did Ickis on Ah Real Monsters, which I wasn't a big fan of that show. But I still really appreciate the voice acting of, um, of Charlie Adler on that show. Like, uh, it was just... He could make, like... The, the craziest squeals and noises. Like, he had, like, some unpredictable deliveries in all the characters that he did. Now I think he's still working in the industry. He's still working in the industry, but um, he... I think he mostly just voice directs now. The most recent thing I heard him on was the new Rugrats where he played some old man that was into grandpa. Yeah, so I don't know. There's that. <laughs> Whisper stories. I don't know how to talk. So, uh, am I being really quiet? Um, trying to think what else Charlie Adler did. He was also Baboon in the IR Baboon parts of Cow and Chicken.
Um, well, I didn't, I wasn't as big on I Am Weasel or I Are Baboon. Um, I always call people girly pie. That is something that uh, Baboon says at some point. Hey, girly pie. He just calls some girl girly pie. So I call I call girls girly pie all the time. And then they break a rolling pin over my head. Not because they're a girl and they just have rolling pins on them. Uh, but because... Um, it was so sexist that they attacked me in a sexist way <laughs> against themselves. I don't know what I'm saying. Trying to uh, steer into that. Many, <laughs> a many pie. <laughs> that rat man. Like how I'm feeling. Thinking about grabbing something cute. <laughs> Don't you like many pies? I, uh, because men, men e pie instead of girl e pie. I like, um, I like so many pies. I like, okay, I don't really eat that much, uh, pie, but I had a, um, I had some slices of like a silk chocolate pie recently. That was, uh, that's good. I like, I, I like chocolate. That's, uh, my, my weakness. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to. Well, yeah, it's been fun. Thanks for popping in and uh, being entertaining. Thank you. Good to meet you, Chrono Triggers. Come back sometime. So, uh, what else? What was I? What's been going on since I haven't been around? Oh, today's Palm Sunday. Did everybody go to church? Did everybody say a prayer for a wretch like me? Went to church this morning. Uh, I read a little bit. That's about. That's about it. How is that all I've done today? There's got to be. I'm sure that I've done other stuff. I haven't worked on coloring my comic though today yet. 
that's next. Oh yeah, that was part of my uh, my day today. I was fixing my email. I swear, yesterday I must have deleted over a thousand emails, and it was still saying I was like over a hundred forty percent full or something, which is what it said when I started. And like I like deleted the emails and uh like uh delete deleted the backup whatever so it was really gone you know it was still saying like it did when i started that i was 140 percent over capacity or whatever it's like well that sucks what do i do and um i thought today maybe it would uh refresh and Tell me otherwise. Nope. But today, unlike yesterday, as far as I could tell, it gave me, like, options to do stuff. So, I don't know. I deleted specific emails that it was looking for, I guess. I don't know. And that seemed to clear it up. But I was like, I can't really start over with a new email <laughs> it's like it's, uh i got like all kinds of like student loans things that go to that one and like i won't remember everything i would need to change over i don't know i feel like tax season is a bad time to to get a new email right and not be able to access the one that everything's going to start sending you stuff. I don't know. Okay, so... Let's get in a tongue in here. Okay, and we'll throw this background in here. Say cheese, rat. Also got some watercolors over here. Might try and make a wretched watercolor out of this drawing. The problem with watercolors with me is I try to go fast, and in doing them fast, I get real sloppy and kind of careless with it. Oh, I might do one of my... I'm trying to get more, like, speech bubble drawings. I don't know, because if I put if I put together an art book, I think it'll be a little funner to 
I have characters saying stuff sometimes. Uh, throughout it, and uh, so I think I think I'll just make if I make this guy say something, I'll just do like a speech bubble and then like a hunk of cheese in it, a picture of a hunk of cheese. I do that sometimes. I think I made <laughs> a while back. I, I made a an octopus on land and he's got a speech bubble and he's saying what what's in it like a, a chicken leg like sometimes i'll just put a, a picture in in a speech bubble oh i've got that cool drawing of it's some weird animal in a cowboy hat it's like some some cyclop animal with four legs I just saw it today and he's he's got a speech bubble and there's just a picture of a gun in it I'm sure that's like a pretty common cartoonist thing but I feel like I don't know exactly where I got that concept of just putting a, a single picture in a speech bubble. It's just like their, it's just their pure intention coming out of their mouth or something. Yes, cheese. What I do recently, I made the guys say, and oh, I know what it was. It was this guy. I never thought about going into web design before. He's, he's a spider. He's not saying anything. Oh, but I made. I drew this, and then I drew a previous panel, like a panel to go before it. Where he goes, there's something. Something's fishy here. Kind of like the breath of a. Cook a cat. No. Let's find a current drawing. There it is. I think um, when I bought that that cow and chicken piece that that sell from cow and chicken, I think I was originally looking for Ren and Stimpy stuff, and they had lots of Ren and Stimpy stuff. But I think it was like two or three, maybe even more times more expensive. And I was like, they're both. They're, I mean, they had like Doug. And they had, like, probably uh, Real Monsters. Like, all those shows. All those shows. 
they had like a whole section for Nickelodeon and a whole section for Cartoon Network and a whole section for like, um, I don't know what was Rupert on, like like Deke Animation or whatever. You know they had like all those studios, and uh, but I was like, you know what? For the money I want to spend on it right now. I would go with Cow and Chicken. Cow and Chicken was one of my favorites. <laughs> like, all the characters were just like bent, jacked up kind of shapes and stuff. Yeah, I just like, um, like the dementedness of it. It was just kind of, I'd say, demented is a good word for cow and chef, cow and chicken. Oh yeah, I was gonna make him saying cheese. Say cheese. Maybe this is related to that other picture. Maybe I'll do a mouse comic. <laughs> I guess. Let's see. How is it? How is a cheese shaped? How's that for a question? How's that for something to say? Like a block of cheese. Uh, so like there's that. And then, um, that. <laughs> cartoon, cartoon. So Dexter's laboratory was also Hanna Barbera. Um Powerpuff Girls. Um, Girl. 
version of the Cowardly Dog was meh. It was like I liked I always liked monsters and stuff. So Courage the Cowardly Dog really should have been up my alley. But uh it it just seemed kind of I don't know, if the show got too formulaic, it kind of lost my interest a lot of times. So the same reason I didn't like Scooby-Doo. Um, Dora the Explorer. <laughs> I was also like 10 years too old for Dora the Explorer, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah, shows that were too... Uh, too like samey every episode i just couldn't get into Okay, so um, I've got this little bottle here that I'm going to rinse the brush off in. Get all the ink out, hopefully. Dry it off. All right. I think that's clean. Hey, uh, uh, Crimson. How are you? I haven't seen you in about one million years. Um, I am going to do a watercolor here of this rat guy I drew. How are you? What have you been up to? Um, and I'm, 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 uh, about 25 pages deep into coloring my comic. I haven't been doing that so much on stream though, but, uh, I've, I've tw about 25 pages deep into coloring it and, uh, it's looking pretty good. If I do say so myself, I'm excited because some of it looks like to me, it looks just like something that I would buy in a bookstore. Which is cool because some of it, when I look at the black and white stuff, I don't think that's so much. I don't know if that needs those lines. I was thinking about maybe adding them. Let me see how I did the other one that I was looking at a minute ago. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm just going to do it. Here, instead of getting ink back on that. It's like, <laughs> it's like 3.23 a.m. for you. You're usually asleep but having issues with pain, so I'm awake. I'm sorry. Same old. Yeah. Um, 
Fantasy. I'm excited that uh, that Mario movie comes out soon. I think it comes out on the fifth, but we're uh, I'm gonna see it with my my nieces and nephews on the eleventh. I think so. Right after Easter. And I know everybody. There's like a, a lot of people are are up in arms about uh, at least the voices. I don't know. I don't have my finger on no pulse or nothing, but I think it looks like a really good movie, and uh, I'm I'm really excited about it. We watched the Tetris movie today. Oh, is is there a documentary of Tetris? I saw something with Tetris. I, I think I assumed it was a documentary. Or did they make a an like a, a scripted action movie out of Tetris? You're not sure if it's based on true facts or not okay is it but it's like a movie about tetris about like making tetris is about getting licensing for the game and game boy and arcade stuff okay yeah, I just saw something over my, my roommate's shoulder about Tetris yesterday. I always start off my watercolors by u trying to use whatever's in the, the trays already. But I'll probably go over this with something else. You felt like it could be based on the making of it. watched anything lately. Now I'm all silent, uh, but let's see. I don't know, I got nothing. <laughs> um, I've been planning my, my roommate's bachelor party a little bit. I got... I booked one place. His brother's booking another place. I can't talk about it too much, just in case he tunes in, which he probably won't, but still. I always send him the invites <laughs> to these shows, so I don't want to be too risky about it. Um, but yeah, nothing debaucherous or anything. But uh, a fun day, I'm planning. And um, his brother booked a restaurant, I believe. And let's see. Well, I'm getting 
I've got a huge gift to get him for that for that day to surprise him with that he won't be expecting. And speaking of video games. More on that later, I guess. But that's uh, that's a few months away. Let's see. We're in April, May, June. It's like, it's a little over two months away. You know what I didn't bring with me this time? Paper towels. So I'm going to grab some real quick. Because I won't get too far without them, I don't think. A bazinga. Think of a color, eh? Let's see, maybe I'll put some black into this purple. Is it, yeah, make them a bit gray. And I'll put a little more of that violet. So is it ultra blue or violet? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I recall using ultra blue. Must have used something else because that's very blue. I put white in it before, I know that, instead of black. But the white, it's like. It was like coming out of the sides, it's all like banged up. me a um, push pin here. And just kind of bust a hole in this knot of hard unusable paint. It's a deep problem. Let's see if I've got I've got a 
Sorry, I messed up my screen here. I've got a toothpick here. Please give me some white paint. It's going to start coming out the sides again yet. This might be a lost cause, this one. Not right. Um, what's that thing about best laid plans of mice and men? Mice, men, often go awry. Trying to add some water to it, make it thinner. Trying to guide this color to make it a little more even. I'd like I'd like to leave his nose lighter. I kind of like that, like. Um, Gradient on his face. Okay. And then next, I think I'm going to go for that red again. a little pinky but um might beef that back up depth on it by making it bolder in the back and then lighter in the front. That's what I'm thinking. Alright. 
execute it something else. Okay, and then I'll tend to that a little more later, I think. Um, oh, I can go into his hands. I forgot about his hands. I think I'm going to do something similar to, I'm just going to go faint on his jacket with this color. I'll find something else to throw on it. It's actually got some red in there still, so it's still a different color. Okay. Okay, now let's get some other colors going. Um Ultra blue in here and under this aqua green color I had and see what happens there. Green didn't really stick around. It, the, the color that was in the tray for me to begin with. And let's see. I might just give him a straight up, no, I don't want to give him a straight up red jacket because that'll blend in with his nose and his tail too much. Right? What if, what do I do? Let's see. I can go with, um, Here, let me add some, um, let, me, let me bust into this tail again. Make it more fleshy.
And yeah, I think we're gonna add some, uh, what is this, crimson red? Let's see what that is. Because I know this other color was like, not crimson, it was like, what is it called? Brilliant red. So we'll see what difference this makes. Because I, I think I do want his jacket to be red. Yeah, it's a different color. Okay. What a thug, man. This guy's going to knock over some mailboxes. Or just, like, break into the... Your uh, break room fridge. Uh, sorry, they put the wrong color on. Yeah, let's see. Remnants of a green here. I'll give him a green shirt. Then he'll have all the colors. We got yellow, red, green, blue. There's this guy. Um, <clears throat> what do I want to do with his hair? I think. Put some of the blue into that, this color I used for his skin. Okay. And then I'm taking some red, putting it into the color I used for his skin. 
try and pull more. A little more blue, a little more blue. Okay. A little more red, a little more red. Try that again. A little bit too wet and seeping into other stuff. Too strong or something. It's giving me trouble. That's all. Okay. Well, that dries a bit. Let's see if I can do something with the red. Bring a little more color into his ears. Though I could probably use some yellow there too and get like that flesh color. I'll let that sit a sec. Mm. Put a dab of this in his mouth. Separate his tongue a bit more. That might be good enough for the ears. I was saying I might add some yellow, but I think I like them. I can pull this out with the with a white pen, because that's a little too much mistake. I'll go over his shoes with like this yellow, this cheese yellow. You know, I'll, I'll even do the soles and everything. This is kind of like the flesh tone of flesh tone of bonehead. Right now, so. A little yellower than he is. But you could pull it off in a pinch with this color. I'll do something else with those shoes too.
Okay, let me go back to blue. Almost stuck my brush into my tea. Oh, wait, no, I'm done with my tea anyway. So. something to it so I don't know, let's see what yellow and purple kind of make a brown because they're um, opposites to this uh, this yellow that I have I'm gonna add I want them to be like kind of a work boot color I think I'm gonna add some what do you call it yellow ochre here I'll add the tiniest bit of burnt umber a bit more of the burnt umber. Mm. It was brought to my attention the other day that my roommate, who's getting married in a couple months, uh, who's like my best friend, uh, he still hasn't seen my bonehead cartoon. I did not know that. I didn't know that. He said my other friends have seen it. I, I, like, I don't remember who, who saw it at this point. He said my other friends have seen it. My other friends that live in other states 
but he hasn't. And I don't, I just don't know how that happens. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that went down. Okay. So... What am I going to do for... I think I'm going to do like a blue-green for the background. Let's see what this yields. So far, it's only like a deep forest green. I'm working on this one. So I think I'm going to try and bring some of this blue. Get some more water. Drag more blue over. Water. More blue over. Okay, let's let's see what that's starting to look like. Alright. Fine. Not exactly what I had in mind, but yeah, let me try and get more blue. Bumping my glasses on the camera. One time I said to my camera, I said, Hey, you wouldn't hit a man with glasses, would you? And he said, Screw that, and beat me up. No, I'm always hitting my glasses on the dang camera. I'm already out of this color, pretty much. Might have to remix that. Remix! Alright, let's, let's do it. Let's make it up here. Let's make it happen. And here, since I need so much blue last time.
We're being careful where we need to. And we'll get sloppy again. Okay, water. I'm going to throw some random blue in here. Okay. Okay, I think it's done. I think I'm just going to sign it. Just got to find a dry spot. Oh, man, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to have any luck if I try to sign it right now. So I might not even sign it. I don't sign most of my drawings, though I probably should. You know why, why I don't sign most of my drawings? So here's her mouse. Um, the reason I don't sign most of my drawings in my sketchbook are because I want to put together an art book, and it, it'd be kind of annoying if they all had a signature on them, you know? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and I, I have, problem is I haven't been doing them as daily lately, but yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've done a few watercolors lately just to... Because I'm sick of buying markers a little bit and um, just change it up, I guess. I think there's only two lately. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, I'll probably be... Did I finish the book yet? I uh, I f finished inking the whole book. I'm just uh, I'm coloring it. I'm about 25 pages into coloring it. You're talking about Bonehead? Um, yeah. So I, I finished a page yesterday, and I've got the next page started, and I'm hoping to finish that today. My yeah, my my goal. I don't know how long it's going to take me to color the whole thing, but um, uh, my goal is. 20 pages a month and i'm just starting that this month so i'm thinking if i do that 20 pages a month times what 10 months 200 200 pages um 
if I do, so it'll take me 14, pay, 14 months if I, to color the whole book, right? 140 times, no, 12 months, 12 months, 12 times 20 is 240. So within a year, I should be able to color the whole book. So if I do anything faster than that, it'll get finished faster. So yeah, have you, you might not have seen any of my um, my my coloring streams, but I did a couple where I, I got the first 30 pages scanned. I went to like a FedEx and scanned them all there for like, I don't know, 50 I think it was 50 cents a page or something. And um, which was twice as much as it said before I went there, like on their website. So, oh, well, but, um, uh, so I scanned them in and I cleaned up the scans and then I've just been coloring on top of them. Um, did I post, I, I don't know if I posted any of the colors in the, the discord, but I, um, I can post some pictures that I took with my phone that over there. But it's it's pretty exciting to see some of it digital. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's going to take me forever to finish the whole book. Sorry to say. Um, anyway, this has been another Ink the Book show. And I'll be back hopefully more often than I've been doing. Um, I was streaming a little bit of the digital stuff. But uh, because I'm doing it in the other room that's kind of like in the middle of the house, because this computer is a little less reliable for that. Um, I, I, I'm going to need to get a new one soon, I think. Um, so I've been working out there in the main kind of, what do you call it, the loft of the house, which sits right above the, the living room. And uh, because I can't, be telling my roommates all the time to be quiet and shut up and turn off the TV and go back to your bedroom. Um, I just can't get as much up as many opportunities to stream out there as I do in here. Um, move the PC. That's a, that's a thought. That's a thought. It didn't occur to me, but that's a good idea. Maybe that might work. Um, dude, it take at least one page recently, and it's probably about right for all the pages so far. It takes me like seven hours to color a page. That's insane. That's all. That's so much time. It took me about two hours to ink the page. By the time I'm done with each page, it'll I'll probably have spent like 10 hours per page like each page is like 10 hours of work total i figure yikes it is my pc it is my pc so i can do that that's an idea i might do that we'll see we'll see i'm i'm a little a little hesitant too but i might do that that's a good idea I can't believe I didn't even think of that. Um, all right. Uh, Till next time. Bye, Crimson. It was so good to see you. And uh, who is the other guy? Chrono Triggers. He was fun. He was interesting. Anyway, goodbye, everybody. Um, I'll post this drawing uh, on social media soon. I'm Ryan at Wrangleshank. How do I... Uh... Oh, I'm missing comments now. She says, have a good night. That, yeah, you too. You sleep tight. It being like four in the morning or something. Um, bye, everybody. I love you. Do yourself a favor and have a good life.